Can I just say thank you very much for everybody talking to me? Pleasure, pleasure. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I've waited so long to, speak, to meet you guys, actually, because mm -hmm. I was a massive fan when, I was, when you guys first came around. Very good taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really strange, but it's really nice, and I'm really glad that you're back to four as well. Yes, really thank to you. Me. So, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, how are you feeling about it? How does it feel like being back as a four? It feels great. It's a bit like riding a bike. Yeah. You know, it was a bit strange at first because we'd, we'd uh, Christian, myself, and Mark had, had been continuing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And that's and right. Then, so it'd been about 15 years since you joined. So the, initially, I think the first meeting was a bit like, oh, okay, that's, yeah, we're kind of familiar, look kind yeah. of weird. And then it was just like, like no time had passed. Really. Yeah, because you were, did really well over in those other countries, didn't you? You did like yeah. Norway and the yeah, yeah, Philippines. Two, you've done really well. Yeah, didn't we did you? at least a few studio That's albums right, yeah. and had mm. massive success. Number one albums and stuff was great. Yeah, yeah, even in Asia, it was, the albums were number one in the Yeah, you've been really big over in Asia. I've noticed yeah, online yeah, a lot yeah, of the interviews. Uh, we're going, lots of we're going them. next after Manchester North. We'll go straight, straight after Manchester. Manchester. Straight off. Yeah. yeah. Well, three days for me. It's like three day window. It's a very short window. Well, one of those days is travelling back from Manchester, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back down here. Yeah, yeah, no, back over yeah. there. That's right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. definitely. Um, how are you feeling about all your reunion shows over here? We're doing great. Yeah. And you know what? The fans have been freaking brilliant mm. because we we were trying to work out what to do with the set because it's funny when, when you've we've uh, had big songs that were different in in different countries. So you know, yeah. one song it was like number one in in uh, Philippines and they've never heard of it over here. So we were yeah. like, what should we do? What set? And then we thought, well, let's just do all the, just do everything. And everybody knows pretty much the words to every single song. Yeah. And that's the beauty of like Spotify now and stuff like that. Is yeah, that exactly. They can, right. If they know they're coming to the gig, yeah. they can just catch up on it. Yeah, but it's like you said yesterday. Oh, thank, um, you. thank you so much. It was sold out so quick, it's going to be people who probably know. Yeah, four minutes it sold out, out in all great. of this. So we, we were a bit, well, we were a bit surprised. I was like, just about to say that, are you surprised how quickly and how well it's yeah. gone down? Well, yeah, we purposefully yeah. picked small smaller venues because yeah. like, we haven't been yeah. in England for a while. Yeah, so that's this is, right. and yeah. so we probably should have done bigger venues, really. So we'll do that next year. But I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. Well, really. I was going to ask you if you do bigger venues next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Oh, that'd be really, really good. So like a nice big comeback would be quite... Yeah. Quite nice for you guys. Well, now we know it works. It's um, it's great to yeah, have exactly. That yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and obviously, it's been over twenty years since you guys originally formed. Mm -hmm. How is it like touring now compared to what it was back back in the day, so to speak? Well, one of the biggest differences is that before we'd literally wake up uh, <laughs> by a sheet coming in under the door in the hotel room, saying what we're going to do that day, mm. starting at like six a.m. And then we'd have interviews, you know, and then we'd have food come in while we're doing interviews, and then we'd rush to a place, have a gig, and then fly to the next country. Um, now we're much more in control of our days. And uh, saying that, we haven't been on this tour, have we? It's <laughs> Not like on this tour so everything, far, that's no. why I'm doing my hair when I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, well, we've been running to have yeah. getting into this. We have so much time to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. But generally, our lives is more, you know, we, we have more control of what we say and everything that we do, which is nice. Yeah, definitely. And, um, yeah. and also, we're, we we have a different attitude this time around like there was a lot of pressure back then from the record company there was a lot of money invested in us they expected a lot from us mm. now it's just just having no one expects anything no no, no actually <laughs> well we can enjoy it a lot more because um everything is just a bonus now this is all we're just having we're just doing it for fun and obviously you know we'd like it to be a success and now it is uh, but the whole idea of, of doing this is just, you know, to, to reminisce with our fans, go down memory lane and have a great time. And also, you know, now it's looking like, you know, it's a, it's a new start in a way. We're recording a new album. Yeah. Um, and um, obviously, people always like to hear the old songs. But for yeah. us, who are songwriters, all of us, we always want to show the new of stuff. Of course we, you do. Because we really yeah. think that we've, we're better songwriters now than we were 20 years ago. And better musicians. Every, I mean, it's just, um, it's going to be better. It is better. Yeah, then you can only progress, can't you? When yeah. You've come well, you'll, you'll hear a new song tonight. Yeah. I was just about to say to you, we're going to hear a new yeah. song tonight. It's actually a bit of an exclusive yeah. because it's the first time we're like um, previewing this song. Okay. It's so new. It, We've only done it twice before. Well, the last night and the night before, and we didn't, we didn't even really. So you kind it. of don't know if you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wrote it as one of the new songs for the new album, and uh, but it's so good. It's too good an opportunity to miss to not test a brand new song yeah. on a new audience because um, they're the best best audience. I mean, those are the ones our our biggest fans mm -hmm. um, will let us know if they like a song. They'll let mm. us know if they don't like a song, and 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 going on the reaction that we've had from it the last two nights, it's been brilliant. 
Yeah, that's good sign. Good. Really good sign for this particular song. So yeah, see, the last one I knew of was obviously Armour, mm. and I think mm. that's so beautifully written. Yeah. It's such a lovely song, so it's really nice to hear that you've got more to show us oh, as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm quite pleased. That's, 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 re that's really good to hear. Really, really good. Yeah, on, now I'm going to go a bit nostalgic here. Yeah. Um, my favourites when I was younger of yours, um, I used to remember sitting in my bedroom playing Caught in the Middle on mm. my guitar when I was younger, oh, learning was guitar at school. Time. Yeah, it was a really nice, easy riff to pick up. Um, and then but my kind of got one set in my heart, which is Like a Rose. Oh yeah, yeah. Like a Rose what will a always be kind choice. of... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's kind of one that sticks for me in my heart. Um, do you guys have like a favourite track you like to perform or favourite song in general that you like? So many Ooh, different so many. Obviously, a lot, obviously there's a lot to choose from. <laughs> to me, it's always every time. Yeah. Like, every time yeah. one of those nostalgic songs to me because it was one of the first songs that broke us internationally. And uh, I remember so well when we wrote it and, and the thoughts that we had around that song. Because I remember thinking clearly, I had this dream in my head. Wouldn't it be so awesome if one day, like this melody and these lyrics that started in our little heads, mm -hmm. like someone on the other side of the planet knew them? Yeah. yeah. And that's what happened. Like we had like the, like the biggest, you know, dream come true moment in, I think it was Singapore or something. We had a signing 5,000 girls with some guys. In, mm. in a queue standing there to get signed and suddenly out of nowhere they started singing this chorus yeah and i remember that thought and i realized wow this is one of our biggest dreams just came true mm. in this moment mm. and i always remember mm. that when we, we play every time it's a, you know, it's a and good it's memories. one of most people the majority of your fans know pretty much straight away as well as soon as they hear those first few bars yeah. Yeah, they know yeah. what's coming don't they these yeah. gigs have pretty much been like karaoke gigs for us yeah <laughs> like, definitely they are and then we'll let you have a go i can yeah. imagine asking yeah. karaoke voice later but yeah i guarantee I like you I mean, you get drunk and we'll give anyone else the microphone it's your turn i'm not working now oh dear obviously you've got the all big tour next year what else have we got to expect may one Oh, well, there's the album also yeah. Yeah, speaking right, about, yeah, and then right. um, we're just booking in more and more concerts, so we have the boys are back to all Yeah, that's right, yeah. But, I mean, with those things, it's going to be a really fun show, but, you know, we, we only get 20 minutes. So mm -hmm. the, the shows that we enjoy doing the most, we do loads of festivals around, are the ones that we actually get to do an hour and a half concert, um, mm -hmm. and actually do all of the songs that we want to do. And Because a lot of the people here, you'll probably notice, like, they, they don't just want to hear the hits. They want to hear oh, yeah. all the album tracks, all the B sides, the everything like that. So we, all, you know, there's a bit in the set. We go right. What, what do you want to hear? And they go, oh, all these random songs, <laughs> and we try and remember them. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been we've been quite fun. We made it different every time. But that door stop right. there. And the, the good thing is also we're we're getting a lot of a lot more countries interested. <laughs> For every day yeah. that we have the people recognizing that we're coming. Yeah, I mean, A1 is worldwide now, aren't they? Yeah. So, you've done so well. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, it's, um, it's quite mind blowing that after all these years, people still want to hear us across the world, which is. Yeah, the demand is still very much there, isn't I it? I know. Like, we're a bit surprised by that, actually. We didn't realize because we haven't really kept the level going up like some of the other bands from our time because we've done so many different things like we will be all write and produce for other artists we have studios we do musicals and, and other you know solo projects and stuff so we've been focusing on all kinds of different things and a1 has sort of been like a side project for us mm. But now it's definitely taken over as, as the main project for all of us <laughs> it's back in the front run yeah, that's all right yeah, yeah. It's fun it's great Oh, that's really good. Well, that's, that's all my questions are. Oh, thank you so, so much. So I really appreciate you all talking to me. Yeah. I, I hope you guys enjoy the, enjoy the show. I can't wait. Thank you so much.